You ready? Oh, oh spider, huge spider. Right There's there, right there, right there, oh, right there. Is that a tarantula? No, 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 no. I think that's a funnel web spider. Okay, bite from this is potentially lethal. I'm just gonna set that down and see if I can coax it. Oh, it's, in, it's in there, it's in there. Australia is arguably the most dangerous continent in the world. I'm sure that as your imagination begins to run wild, you are likely thinking about being snatched from a river's edge and eaten alive by a giant saltwater crocodile. Or perhaps you are envisioning how terrifying it would be if you were to stumble upon and be bitten by one of its incredibly venomous snakes, like the Eastern Brown. However, it's not only the reptiles that you need to be weary of. Tonight we are exploring just outside of Sydney, the most densely populated city in Australia, which also happens to be home to the world's deadliest spider, the Sydney funnel web. Armed with a set of massive fangs and an incredibly toxic venom, just a single bite from this spider has the ability to kill a human. Sounds terrifying, yet these spiders are rather elusive and tend to avoid humans at all cost. In fact, they can be rather difficult to find, as building their silk-lined, funnel-shaped burrows under rocks or in rotting logs keeps them hidden and out of sight. Ooh, covered in ants, watch out for that. Let's go on the back side of this tree, some logs to flip over here. So unless you were like me and are flipping over debris in the environment, your odds of encountering one are pretty unlikely. You ready? Yeah. Lift this up. Oh. oh, spider, huge spider. Right There's there, right there, right oh, there, right whoa. there. Is that a tarantula? No, 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 no. I think that's a funnel web spider. Right there, just came out from underneath that log. Look at its abdomen right there. Holy cow. That's definitely a funnel web spider. Hold on, I need to get in this container. Oh my gosh, did you see that? It's a good thing I picked up the log from the other side. It was just burrowed right underneath there. That's a tiny container, dude. That looks too big to be a funnel web. No, 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 it definitely is. Look at the front of its body. Oh yeah. Um, wow, that spider's so big, I don't think it's gonna fit in this container. Mario, you have that bigger jar? Uh, yeah, I think I might have one in my backpack. Hang on. Let me see if I can peel back some of it these looks grasses. looks like a tarantula, but I- Ooh, it's moving, hurry up! Okay, bite from this is potentially lethal. I'm just gonna set that down and see if I can coax it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to coax it right into the container. Now they cannot jump, but they will lunge forward. It's in, it's in, it's in. There we go. Wow! Look at that. Oh yeah. That is 100% a funnel web spider. That is a big one. Wow. We cannot miss getting this up close for the cameras. Okay, let me grab my bag and let's head up to those rocks. Wow! That is without question a funnel web spider. The question that remains is what species is it? I wanna find a good flat open rock. How about that one right there? This? Yeah, that looks yeah, that's... pretty. Or that one. Is that better? Uh, yeah, that's a little bit better. Let's see if it'll just sit on top of the rock surface like this. Yeah, I like this. This is good. Wow. Yeah, let's have a look. That is intimidating. It does. It looks like a tarantula. I know you said, is it a tarantula? Are you sure it's a funnel web spider? 100% certain it's a funnel web spider. One of the ways that you can identify this species as such is they have a very bald cephalothorax. Now they do have hairs on their legs and on the abdomen, but that is how you can recognize a funnel web spider. And that's the perfect sort of place to find them underneath logs where they can wait in ambush for their prey. Now they will also obviously be inside of burrows with those little funnel web systems. Um, and whoa, am I glad that I picked up the log from the end that I did. Now my fingers didn't tuck underneath the log. I was on the top side and that's why you always pick up a log from an area that you can see because if you tuck your fingers underneath, you grapple onto that spider and you take a bite, you are on your way to the hospital without question. Okay, now I know it's probably kind of tough to see it inside of this container. So let me see if I can take it out and place it on the rock here and let's get some shots with it. You ready for that? Okay, let me help the guys break out the lights real quick. Okay, yeah, we're, we're losing light here. All right guys, we have the lights set up now, and in the lights, the spider is even more intimidating looking. You can see the sheen on the legs and the cephalothorax. 
Uh, it's already cast a little bit of webbing inside the container there. And uh, I, I think if you guys are ready, let's take it out of the container and see if it will just hold its ground here on the rock. Now, this is an extremely aggressive spider species and oftentimes they won't run, but what they will do is rear up and show you those fangs and those front legs. Okay. You have to be very cautious. Yeah, I'm going to just gently tilt this down like this and let's see if it will crawl out and just stop right there. Here we go. Okay, let's see if I can get it to stay still. Oh, you stay, you stay, you stay. Actually, maybe I'll do this. It seems to be more comfortable inside the container. Yeah, that works for me. How about you, Mark? Okay, this is such a dangerous spider. I mean, even more so than a wandering spider. Oh, okay. Look at those hooked legs, allowing it to hold onto the edge of the container. Let me see if I do this. Maybe if I put the container over top of it and give it just a second to stay right there. Now, one reason that the bite is so bad is that because when they bite, their fangs are so long, they actually will hook into you, hold on, and continue to pump venom. And it's not like a black widow or a redback spider where they might give you a warning bite. A bite from this spider species is full on as much venom as I can inject. Okay, let's try this. Everybody got a decent shot on the spider? There you have it. Wow. And just for scale, look at how big that spider is next to my hand. Not taking my eyes off of the arachnid. That is definitely as close as I feel like I can get. All right, Mark, let's try this. I'm gonna try to present it from just its still position right there. And like all spider species, you see those very defined eight legs, but they also have very long pedipalps up front, and that helps them to grapple onto their prey. And when they rear up, they show those fangs, and their fangs are incredibly long. Longer, in some cases, than even some of the snake species here in Australia. Now, one of the reasons that this spider is considered so dangerous is because they can oftentimes be found in residential areas. The Sydney funnel web specifically is oftentimes found right in people's backyards. That's why they tell you, if you're out there working in the garden, make sure you have on gloves. You can be tilling up dirt, accidentally grab one of these things, it bites you on the tip of the finger, and you may be seeing symptoms in as few as 15 minutes. Now, the immediate bite, you're definitely going to notice. The fangs are long enough to draw blood blood, but immediately you'll feel throbbing in your finger and shortly after you'll start to feel a tingling in your mouth and lips. Now if you are bitten by one of these spiders, you want to apply compression to the entire arm. So let's say you're bitten on the tip of your finger. Put compression straps up the length of your arm that will help slow the movement of the venom into your body. Wow, that is impressive. Now there are around 40 recognized species of funnel web spider with one of the most dangerous being the Sydney funnel web. And I can't identify exactly if this is a Sydney or not, but what we do want to do is actually take this spider back with us into civilization. Where we wanna go is the Australian Reptile Park. They are, oh, it's moving. The Australian Reptile Park is the one place in Australia where they actually extract venom from these spiders and then in turn build an anti-venom for people that are bitten. So this spider that we found right here might actually be used to save some lives. How cool is that? Awesome. I think the best thing to do now is put a cap on this, place it in my pack, and call it a night. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, we are taking this spider to the Australian Reptile Park. Wow, what a find. Australia is home to a collection of dangerous arachnids, from the redback to the huntsman, and ultimately the funnel web. This beautiful continent is crawling with venomous spiders. Catching a funnel web spider is something I had always hoped to do. And now with one in my possession, it was time that the crew and I headed to the Australian Reptile Park. Famous for being the only sanctuary of its type in Australia, they are renowned for their spider and snake venom milking program. Will our spider's venom be used to save human lives? Stay tuned for the fascinating conclusion as I get dangerously close to this creepy arachnid. And don't forget, subscribe, so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Things are about to get dangerous.